So many people ask, why Iowa? And the answer to that question is Iowa City. It's a UNESCO city of literature. It's been a literary mecca since the 1930s when the Iowa Writers' Workshop was founded. And since then, so many other amazing writing programs have been founded here. And all these programs together as a constellation draw so many aspiring writers from all over the country, from all over the world, to study writing here in Iowa City. There's no place like this. There's no other place that's like Iowa City. There's no other place that um, has the people that this program has. I just really like love this city so much. And just if you walk on the streets, you can literally just see like um, engravements of beautiful quotes from books. There's so many amazing independent bookstores. Um, and I think just absorbing all of the literature and art around you is one of the most amazing things that I've gotten from here. This is one of the, the kindest environments I've ever been in. It's, it's a, a place where people are nurtured and nourished, and it's just a, a warm, compassionate, serious environment. I think it's a very uplifting atmosphere. Nobody is here to judge, and everyone is here just to improve as a person and a writer and to help everybody else do the same. All of the teachers and counselors at the Young Writers Studio are drawn from the Iowa Writers Workshop and from the nonfiction writing program. We're able to go to those programs, look for the most exciting, engaging, passionate teachers, and um, give our students access to them. The instructors are so incredible. I can't think of anywhere else where you could come and have all these amazing writers totally at your disposal. It's really great because they end up treating you like equals and it's really, it's just overall really comfortable and really cool to be able to talk and bond with a bunch of established writers too. I've learned a lot from them and they have just the right mix of constructive criticism and encouragement. We have lots of time to be in Iowa City, um, exploring, finding inspiration, and then just a lot of time to sit and write and read. We are an academic program, um, but we're also a summer camp, and we never forget that we're a summer camp. So students have the opportunity to go bowling, go eat ice cream at Dairy Queen, go to a beautiful farm in the countryside where they serve brick, brick oven pizza. Uh, we go swimming at the lake. We really feel that playfulness is in some way um, at the root of all um, creative work and even, uh, even somehow at the root of a good life. I've taught undergrads, I've taught writing students in, in a range of, of contexts, and these students are the most gifted, the most committed young writers I've ever had the privilege of working with. I think they're, very, they're poised to transform already when they come here, and so pretty much without exception, everyone in the program is just, I think, more open and more willing to try things as a writer when they leave than they were when they came. It's always amazing to me when they say this, but they say they've learned more about writing in two weeks than they've learned in two years. There are lots of other programs like this around the country, but this, this is the one. I think if you love art and you love writing and really like writing is what you do for fun, then I think you should definitely come here. If storytelling is something that you care about, then absolutely apply. To meet other writers my age was very validating for me and it's definitely a memorable experience and I love to continue this circle of people I've found where we exchange works and give feedback to each other because I think that's a very rare and treasured thing. What we do for students at this camp is really special and it's transforming and so many kids come here and leave um, excited to do this work but also with a sense of themselves and with a confidence um, that is really invaluable. I have a saying at the Young Writers Studio, camp is never over. The connections that students form at camp with each other and with their students and counselors and teachers are, are connections that really stay with them for a long, long time.